Taking his turn at addressing the UN 73rd General Assembly, President Akufado echoed the need for a UN that ensures shared responsibilities for a peaceful, equitable and sustainable societies and not remain the place to pass resolutions that are ignored with impunity. We in Ghana and other parts of the African continent are determined to pull our country out of poverty and into prosperity. We believe that there is room and there are enough resources on this planet for all of us to be prosperous. But it does mean that the rules and regulations that we fashion to guide our dealings with each other have to be respected by all of us. From the environment to trading rules, we have to accept that there cannot be different set of rules for different countries. The African Common Position on UN Reform, as expressed in the Ezulwini Consensus, remains the most comprehensive proposal for reform of the United Nations, particularly of the Security Council. It is time the global community endorsed it to create a modern United Nations fit for purpose in our time. Africa, he noted, no longer want to be the place that requires peacekeepers and poverty-fighting NGOs, no matter how noble their motives. Our regional bodies like ECOWAS and our continental body, the AU, are making systematic efforts, despite significant handicaps, to bring peace and stability to the entire continent. And sooner, rather than later, they will succeed. Ghana, like many countries in Africa, he said, is forging relations with China to make arrangements to help address part of its infrastructure deficit. Today, the former victim of Western Railways imperialism is lending billions to countries throughout Africa, Asia and Europe to construct not only railroads, but also highways, ports, power plants and other infrastructure and many businesses. The historical echoes are certainly worrisome, but yes, surely, we must and can learn from history. We in Ghana must build roads, bridges, railways, ports, schools, hospitals, and we must create jobs to keep our young people engaged. It is obvious to us that the development trajectory we have been on for many decades is not working. We're trying a different one. And we would appreciate the support and goodwill of the world, especially in helping to stem the huge flow of illicit funds from the continent. President Akufado stressed that Ghana is determined to chart its own path to prosperity. Adele Kwesi, Matchtube, reporting for Metro News.